So you'd think the day is done. That she's passed away, and I will be paying my respects. But not quite. It. And she's like, Hello, welcome. Yeah. You know, I said, Mom, the only reason we give her that one more chance is because of you. Because Alan is here at the Gettysburg location. I can no longer checking on things here. His day hasn't ended yet. So much like I was working at the other store all day, there were folks working here all day. They've been uh, quite busy with customers, of course, being Black Friday, and this is in a. Uh, uh, an outlet area. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, hey, man. See, you step it on me. What is what is going on here? I have a question. Now that now you you've come to the second store now, how many hours are you gonna put in here? Uh, maybe one. I I forgot that it's Thanksgiving dinner from my household, oh. so I'll do that and then I'll go back to work. A lot of times I come back here like around one and two and I just work through the night and then work my shift. Wait, what? Yeah. A lot. That's Nikki. She gets super angry. She'll wake up and be like, where are you at? I'm like, I'm out at the shop. Because I can come here anytime I want, and I don't sleep very much, so it's easier for me to... Want to see something crazy? Come on. So you know, we started to sort all the different yes. accessories and such. Excuse me, guys. So, every bin that you see with a purple post-it note is a different toy line. So this is what we had started working on the last time yeah, I was here. Yeah, man. Every... Oh. Yeah. And I got about another 40 bins I've been taking home because it's a little bit easier to identify when I'm at home. and It's insane. So, for the sake of people watching here right now, <laughs> I was here the day that this store opened, and we pulled out this massive bin of parts and we began to sort and we didn't have near this many boxes that day it's obviously continued <laughs> in my absence but this is these are just accessories yeah, for lines so they're figures. waiting as toys come in these are then opened in order to complete the figures so that they can put on the shelves that you just saw and as you can see it's two stores of all kinds of plastic goodness and um it, it, it absolute craziness, and and I just, you know, when I volunteered to do this, I thought that my day was going to be spent just assisting customers, but that wasn't the case. What actually it was was helping all the behind the scenes stuff and putting this thing together. And this is ten times the work that I thought it was. I mean, I knew it was. Yeah, it's uh, different. I want to see some really crazy stuff that came out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing, doll? Oh, it's our shop here. here. Shop security dog, he bites on command. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. So, this was a crazy, crazy, crazy walked in the door here at Gettysburg. What are, wait, what is it? For a trade. Oh, a signed gold dust. Well, it's got a little like crease right there. But gold dust was always one of my favorite. Wow. Limited edition Hardy Brothers classic. Yeah, these are like heavy, heavy hitters. That's insane. Wow. I don't know that I ever actually saw ne those. I've never seen The gold dust I've seen, not them. signed. Yeah. But the other ones, I don't so, think I've ever even seen those. And then, like, so, like we did with Joe's earlier. Yeah. This is, uh, this is all my DC that I don't have room to put out. So, again, uh, identify what might be missing, the year, the name, and the price on every single item. Now, have these gone through the process of having that one of those boxes pulled? Nope. The, the, that was all stuff I already had kind of pre-planned and ready so technically um, you might be able to complete some of them that are in those that crate there with what's on the yeah shelf. so we did rush through and pull anything dc related so anything later hopefully that but that does happen a lot and there's been so many times where you you might not know like exactly what this is but then once you complete something you see it boom it's in memory and then a month later you go back and you're like oh i do have the gun for this or i do have that motorcycle for this and you just try your best to go back in and do it but Sometimes, and it sounds terrible, but for the extra half an hour you spent trying to find this, but it only being maybe $5 in value, you've lost money at that point, right? Yeah. Because the half an hour you paid an employee to do that. So a lot of this I really try to focus on because I feel like I'm a better salesman when I know what I'm selling, what items they are, what accessories belong, versus when someone else processes it. And then when I have it to sell, I don't sell it as well because I don't, I didn't do it. Well, I have to say that just having helped start this, yep. what was great and what enabled us to get as much done as we did that day 
was the fact that you had four or five people yes. that had a lot of experience and a yep. lot of expertise Every, that, that knew what stuff was. Everything here, I can't identify. I've already went through each color. That's all unidentified. So then what I'll do is I'll get a bunch of friends together. We'll sit down. We'll bang it out. We'll, we'll look it again. And then sometimes we go live and we'll, you know, have fun with it. You know, do some giveaways. Like, I, I'm so identify. curious to attack these and just see how much yeah, I can find. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very fun. Like, this looks so familiar to me. And I couldn't identify it. I was, like, swearing up and down. I know that I've seen this accessory before. I just couldn't do it. And then I just started getting more of our Mythic Legions ready. That's all overstock legions. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then the next big project for next week is our turtles. So I've got about six totes of turtles to be all processed. So I just took all their accessories and did them up by color and keep going. God almighty. Yara. Here's one that's. This is why I'm a barber. <laughs> Here's one that's surprising much because it's next time. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is all stuff is. I could identify. <laughs> well, I can identify the hell out of that. So, I 100% had this in my DC parts. It just looked like maybe some kind of Wayne Tower gargoyle, something of that nature, right? Yeah. And come to find out, it is this. Which is actually a Ninja Turtle playset from that movie with uh, Megan Fox. Oh, no kidding. Would have never, I ever, had no idea what that was. Guessed that. So I had to go back up to my thing. Look pull at that, that beautiful out of, tie interceptor. Had to pull it out of DC, man. That's what I was talking about. See, it's all turtles. Like these. Did you ever know they made mech suits for turtles? No. That's Donnie's, Mikey's, Leo's, and Raph's. You got all four. Yeah. Just like this. Would you guess? This is a turtle playset. Now I would have thought that was a turtle playset because it looks like uh, that you're yeah. in a in a, that's, it all, in a sewer system. It opens up. So we'll be working on this and uh, you know just kind of stabbing it and, and having some fun. I mean it's just bins of turtles. Large bins too. Turtles, turtles, turtles. Look at that lovely Starry in our playset right there. Oh, oh, and that's all accessories. There's, so there's more accessories. This is in addition to the the yeah, boxes so we saw over there. This is all your gray, your browns and golds. So we don't necessarily know what these are too. Nope. nope. Yellows, greens, blues, purples, oranges. And this is what I was talking about where like I separate all my accessories. In the bins. Wow. <laughs> it's like insane. Super, super fun. <laughs> you know what's funny is I have the I have the snake to that that I got cheap somewhere. Dude, I, I, I had no idea that. what this was until I lensed it. And I was like, oh, Star Wars, you never see that, man. Yeah. I actually knew what it was because I remember playing with it as a kid. <laughs> I didn't have it, but one of my best friends did. We played with it a lot. Yeah.